All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is James, and this is Killing It Country. What's that? You can't hear me? There's a car going by. The audio maybe isn't as good as it could possibly be. Well, that's what this video is going to be about. I've never done uh, a, a box opening video like this before, but uh, I was gearing up to do some maintenance on the Kubota KX040 today, and the Amazon guy pulled in the driveway. He dropped off this uh, DJI wireless microphone, and I'm excited to uh, open this box, get it charged up, and uh, maybe try to take my YouTube videos to the next level because I've always felt that the audio is the place where I could make the greatest improvement. So like, listen to these cars going by. I have that to deal with. Sometimes I turn my back to the camera and I'm talking and nobody can hear me. So these are just a few of the uh, of the issues that I'm going to deal with. I have the wind, so maybe you're interested in this product not for the outdoors. Uh, maybe you have a small YouTube channel like me and you're trying to tackle some of these larger problems as well. Um, at any rate, that's what this video is going to be about. So if you're interested in the DJI wireless mic, stick around. Let's get this box opened and find out what it's all about. Let's go. All right, everybody, so here it is. Not very often uh, on an outdoor YouTube channel you get to be at my kitchen counter, but this is the DJI microphone, wireless microphone. Um, let's look at the box here. 250 meter transmission range, dual channel recording, 14 hours of onboard memory, portable and compact, wide compatibility, and 15 hour battery life. So this unit does come with two transmitters and one receiver. So I will be able to be recording the voices of two people simultaneously, which will be good for uh, interviews or collaborations or times when uh, Julie and I are both outside working together. Um, what else is there on this one? Not too much. Uh, there's the side of the box, the front of the box. So the DJI mic transmitter is actually model AST01 and the DJI mic receiver is model ASR01 um, and that is about it. So let's cut this box open. Uh, that knife's probably overkill but it's the knife that's in my pocket. Alright, how does this open? open. Nice box. Reminds me of, uh, of the way Apple packages a lot of their products. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. So I'm assuming this is the, uh, the carrying case with a charging port in the back. It's got some nice plastic around it here. Let's open it up. Actually, maybe we'll save this guy for just a couple seconds. Let's see what's in here. Cardboard box. The only thing in it is this bag. And inside of this bag, we have Looks like these are the covers for the actual uh, microphone for wind protection, perhaps. One, two of those. Oh, this bag actually has a divider in the center, so the, uh, the fur was in this side. And in this side we have safety guidelines. Oh my goodness. You wouldn't want to be unsafe with your microphone. I'm sure there's all sorts of useful information in there and a wide variety of languages. That's the only, the only bit of looking at that that you're going to see. I don't even know what this is. More information, warranty information. Um, so yeah, that bag is empty now. 
Uh, we're gonna find out what that is. What are that's uh, quarter inch, quarter inch audio jacks. Interesting. Maybe to go from the from the transmitter to something else. I'm not sure. We'll have to look. That to me uh, is a charging cable because I already have a DJI Osmo and that looks exactly the same as the charging cable that came with my camera. Um, there doesn't appear to be anything else in this box, so we'll close that up and get rid of it. So what do we have here? Ooh, you open it up and the lights come on. Everything comes to life. That is pretty cool. Wow, they are a lot smaller than I thought. So this is the uh, this is the lapel mic. Uh, I'm assuming this is what you would clip to your shirt to capture your voice. Yeah, that's the microphone. So we have two of those, and then this is the receiver. Um, this is where the actual recording happens. Uh, I'm assuming there is either built-in memory in this, or I need to perhaps purchase a, a memory card. Hopefully it has a uh, built-in memory. No, it does have built-in memory. We just read that. It has, um, 14 hours of onboard memory. So there you go. Um, I wonder if this, so this case uh, appears to have its own battery inside and, uh, you would charge charge the actual case itself with the included uh, USB cable here and then I, I'm assuming if your uh, if your equipment here if your microphones or your receivers ever went dead you could just drop them into the case and they would automatically charge from the case that uh, that is the same as my DJI Osmo I purchased a, a DJI accessory to put that camera in and it charges for me when I'm not using it which is really handy so uh, that is going to be it for the actual unboxing portion of this video. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is have a look at the instructions and find out uh, if there's any uh, valuable information that needs to be passed on to you guys. Uh, I'm going to charge this stuff up to the max and uh, figure out what I'm doing. And then we're going to get out and we're going to give this stuff a try. So we'll be right back. All right, so we're back in the exact same spot that I was in when I started this video for a couple of reasons. I don't know if you can tell because most of the trees are behind the camera, but it's windy out. I'd like to see what the wind is like. So I've got my, uh, I've got my DJI wireless mic on. You can see the green light means that it's recording to the transmitter and the transmitter is actually plugged directly into the GoPro. Now I've learned a couple of things in the last two days. It's been a couple of days since I filmed this unboxing but uh, this wireless microphone system is actually capable of doing a couple of things uh, it can act as a standalone wireless mic you can record audio directly onto the DJI wireless receiver and then you can move those audio files by themselves into your editing program for me I use Adobe uh, Adobe Premiere Pro uh, but another thing you can do and I didn't realize is you can connect your receiver with your 3.5 millimeter audio cable directly into your camera and uh, then the audio just goes into the video exactly as it would with a standalone camera like a GoPro or your iPhone or anything else. For me with the GoPro Black Hero 9 I required something else so as soon as I figured that out I, uh, I did purchase this uh, media mod. So what it is is uh, a plastic enclosure and the GoPro slides right inside of it. It does make the camera a little bit bigger, but on the back of the camera, and I'll put up some pictures, it gives you the ability to have a HDMI output, um, a USB-C port, I believe it is, and it gives you the input 3.5 millimeter audio jack uh, so that you can transmit from the receiver, the DJI wireless receiver, into the camera. Um, yeah, so that was an extra 120 bucks, but honestly, I didn't research this uh, enough, I suppose. And uh, well, once I had it sitting on the counter and I did a little bit more research and determined its capability, I, I wanted this accessory because if I don't have to do that extra editing in the program and you know, you do the clap to, so that you can see the peak in the audio file and you're lining up the video and the audio after the fact, if I don't have to do that, 
if I can just record with this and, uh, and put it in my program and I'm off to the races, that's exactly the way I'm gonna do this. So we're back here at the excavator. What I wanna do now is I wanna just do some silly little videos around some of the equipment that I use on the channel and see if I'm gonna have any, uh, any distortion, uh, see if any of this stuff is gonna be too loud with the gain settings that have come uh, with factory default. So uh, I'm just gonna jump in this thing, turn it on, move it around a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll go over, we'll do the same thing with one of the John Deere riding mowers. Uh, maybe we can move a bucket full of topsoil with the BX and then I'll take this video back inside and uh, I'm gonna use this video in my next YouTube video. This footage is gonna be seen uh, whether we have the distortions or not because we're gonna figure this out together. So let's jump on some equipment. All right. It's gonna take some getting used to, knowing that I have the audio with me at all times. I don't have to project my voice towards the camera or any of that kind of stuff. So let's fire this up. It's gonna be nice. Uh, It'll be nice to have you guys be able to hear me while I'm inside the machine. We have to figure out how the, uh, the engine noise is going to interfere with my voice. I've tried to do this with, uh, with the GoPro camera by itself and with an iPhone and just with the DJI Osmo and it didn't turn out very well so I'm hoping this is better. I'm just going to let this machine warm up for a couple of minutes. That ought to do it. <clears throat> I mean, once you've got, once you've got the, uh, the machine dialed up and have some RPM on. Honestly, the sound inside the cab doesn't change that much, so I'm not sure how much more testing on this piece of equipment we need to do. That's probably good enough. All right, lock the cab. All right, let's go find the next noisy piece of gear. All right, let's move these John Deere's out of the way. Now these things just screech and scream when you're using them, so this will be interesting. machine moved. Now let's move the second one. I mean these are pretty loud so I'll be fairly impressed if you can hear me. And I'll be even more impressed if you can hear me well.
All right, and that's two. What do the cars sound like? So let's get the BX out. I'll just leave the camera there, but I'll bring the audio with me. A little bit of glow plug action because it's not very warm today, although I am in shorts. And there it is. I don't anticipate that I'm going to want to carry on a conversation while I'm sitting on a diesel tractor, but it will be interesting to uh, determine how well you can hear my voice while I'm sitting on this thing. So let's uh, get the camera moved and we'll move a pile of dirt. All right, so we got that camera set up. Let's just try to talk and move some dirt here. Of course, this topsoil is wet now because it's been raining all day. There we go. Now, where can I put this? Changed my mind. I don't really want to put it anywhere, to be honest. I'd like to spread some grass seed before I put this topsoil down anywhere. So let's just put it right back. probably loud. It's all about audio in this video. So anyway, bit of a learning curve with some new equipment. That's going to be nice to have, uh, to have that. I don't have to be pointing directly at you guys to talk. I can turn around in a circle and you can still hear me like I'm facing you. Um, I would imagine that's going to be a much better experience for you and that's what this is all about. So uh, with that, I'm going to keep uh, reading manuals and watching YouTube videos on my own to learn about this stuff a little better. Uh, in a couple of weeks, I am scheduled to actually go to my local Kubota dealer and do a video for them on some Kubota equipment. And uh, I really wanted this gear so that I could have my mic as well as a mic to go on the person that I'm going to be working with. So uh, I have that to look forward to and now you guys hopefully have that to look forward to as well. So if you've got a small YouTube channel like me and you're looking for ways to make improvements, this, uh, in my opinion, is definitely an affordable way to make a big, big difference in your viewer's experience. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.